you guys, I'm back. Uh, some of you wondered if something happened to me, but I have to say I just went on a, a little R&R &R with a good, a good friend of mine, and uh, we went to Vegas. Had so much fun. Oh my God, had so much fun. We're uh, we're into craps now. We used to just do little slots and it's a little blackjack, but craps are so much fun. We've been teaching ourselves on the computer, and oh, somebody just called me. And so we went up the last two times and played, but this time was, was, was really, really fun. We tried to get tables by ourselves because we figured out that's when you can make the most money. So it's nice to come back from Vegas with money is in your pocket. But yeah, it was fun. We drove. It's only about four hours to drive up. Actually, I just got home and I uh, had given my keys to my daughter, Kelly. And she forgot to leave them here for me. So I had to go into her work at Culver City. And I got those. And then I got back and I had gotten some drumsticks I picked up from this really good little place. It's like the King Drumsticks. Wait, let me go show you. I got one. But by the time I got home, they were kind of soft. But I put them upside down. But these are the kind that are really good. King Cone. Oh, my God. They got like extra chocolate in them. And they're a little bit bigger. But I, I think they'll... They'll get fr real frozen again, but I'm not throwing them away. Oh, no, I'm not. But anyway, um, yeah, it's nice to be home. I see there's boaters out there now and everything, but uh, oh, there's my gecko. I finally got him up on a wall. Okay, with the help of my friend, I'm not really good at putting things here and there. So I am, oh, I have to show you my patio equipment when I get resettled again. So you can see how it is. I've got all my cushions over there, but I'm just going to kneel down here by my fireplace. Okay, that's not going to work either, is it? Let me bring it down my level. Let me just hold this little tripod thingy, but... Oh, let me put my fireplace on. I had to give you a room tour. I was going to give you a room tour or my apartment tour when I get all my stuff up on the walls because I really don't have a lot of stuff, right? But there's my fireplace, and there's up above is how they mounted my TV. I got one of the swivel ones and um, so I like that a lot but uh, I am going to put my patio furniture on. There's all my cushions. I bring them in every night because it does get damp out there and you know I, I spent like $2,000 on that whole thing so it's like I'm going to take really good care of it. It takes only minutes to put it in and, yet, and when I show you I'll show you I cover it all up with a, with a big tarp came with it so let me just lay down here. <laughs> It's not like I didn't get a lot of sleep in Vegas, but here, the, oh, here we go. This is my ambiance for this video. Anyway, yeah, went to Vegas, found the new favorite food spot. We uh, we would we did go to Guy Fieri's restaurant, which is really good chili. Oh my gosh, he's got so much meat in there with the cheese melted on top and the cornbread. A huge chunk of horn, cornbread is round right on top too. Oh, really good a little sour cream but it's like where else we wanted to find somewhere else and one of his friends he works with says go check out the pepper mill it's like i last time i went i remember i i had to go to the bathroom so bad we were going downtown vegas right and it looked really nice i, I ran in there went to the bathroom and i never said anything more because i thought you know i didn't know really what it was so and that was the place he said go they have just really good food and it's cute oh my gosh it is really cute I, next time i go up i think matricia and i might be going up soon i'm going to take a video of the place it's like done the guy who did it i don't know he he did an amazing job on lights it is i would say a, a such like a denny's but it's all lit up like vegas it's purple it's pink subtle it's got trees separating the booth so you're kind of a little private but you can see and it's just really good and that and the food is like huge i mean this girl or oh we'll have to just go order a fruit. she ordered a fruit plate it was stacked that high with fruit it was already on the it was still on the right and she, then they gave her a knife and she would have to cut i swear they gave her a whole pineapple too but it was so funny people just started laughing but it was it was so fun and then they said well there was a little lounge bar area so we actually went in there later that night oh my god it has a round fire pit water with the fire ring inside and up about around there was glass with all music videos in and they had 
like red cushiony chairs and pillows and then they had step ups they had brass bars they had every little section of like davenports and couches with their own little tvs and video it was and then the lighting again the purple and the subtle pinks and the blues i I'm, so that's where i'm taking trisha when we go it was just so nice to just it was a sexy bar. It really was just really sexy. That's how, like, all I can say. It wasn't even bougie. It was just really, like, not that you were going there to have sex, but it was just elegant. It was so cool. I, I wish there was one around here. That would be my hangout. I'd go in and have a drink every night. <laughs> But that was the new favorite spot, Pepper Mill. If you ever get up there, it's right before, <clears throat> excuse me, the Riviera. So it's worth it if you have to, if you flew there and you have to take a taxi down there, it, it's worth it. You could probably walk there. It's, it was, we were slayed, you know, up by the Flamingo in that area. So it was probably only a half mile from there, but really good. And, and then we had gotten an appetizers that night with our drink um, and we got the nachos. Oh my God, they were heaped. Full. And I forgot my camera, or I, I, I will show you next time I go, I promise. It is just, I think it's a little hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about, you know. Because I, I would never have known had somebody said, go check it out. And it's not because it's enormous portions, which they are, but it was just it was just a great atmosphere. I love to go out and have a great atmosphere. That's my thing. So, anyway... Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna got to I'm gonna have bruschetta tonight, um, having some company over, and I'm gonna sit on the patio, watch the boats, and kind of chill. Tomorrow I go to my doctor for another blow up session. I'll let you know how that goes. And uh, I did pretty good at Vegas with you know the unevenness of my breasts, and I wore a uh, heavily padded like a swimsuit top that worked really good really good but I mean you know not not the same but um, hopefully next time I go up there I'll be 100% back to myself anyway I hope all you guys are well I miss talking to you I didn't forget about you I wanted to do videos but it's, sometimes it's just so hard because you're always on the go on the go and then you know you're at the pool then you're resting and it's like you know just run out of time and uh, I just wanted to throw this one in real quick to say I'm back and I can't wait to hear from you guys. See ya. Bye.